Mahadev started with uh, Thich Nhat Hanh in the Buddhism uh, village and um, we would like to know something about uh, Bhakti Yoga, about the benefits uh, and what else. Namaste. <clears throat> Namaste. I don't know if we can speak about Bhakti Yoga in terms of benefits. If you do asanas, you know that it's gonna make your body more flexible and throughout flexibility of your body you can create a flexibility of your mind so we can really measure benefits but in bhakti yoga i would say it's much more than benefits it's not a question of gaining something but it's a complete change in your life Bhakti Yoga is a devotional path. It means you will learn how to create a relationship with the invisible, with your divine part. You can call him or her God. You can give the name of a special deity. Or you can just call it the Absolute, the Infinity. It's when you get rid of all your limitations when you connect with the source of everything. And what can you do with the source? What can you do with the absolute, with God? If you consider God as someone remote from yourself, it's hard to connect. So you have to learn how to, to be with God within or to have a very special relationship. And you can be with God all the time. It means it will help you to be relaxed, to be confident, and to be happy always. Whenever you have a moment of distress, fatigue, anxiety, even illness, you know that you are not alone. You know that you have this absolute, you are part of this absolute. And in Bhakti Yoga, what do you do? What is the practice of Bhakti Yoga? Actually, you can put this practice in any other practice. If you do asanas, and if you connect to your mantra, oh, when you do a posture, oh, you connect with God always. And you can develop gratitude. You can always say, Thank you. Thank you because of the sun shining for us now. Thank you for the food we just had. And you can put Bhakti Yoga in this devotional relationship anytime. When you are driving your car, when you are bi biking and working, when you are with friends, when you are dealing with anything and working. So imagine that all the yoga you can do, all the meditation lead you to somewhere. It's going to lead you to God, to unity. It is really the purpose of yoga, Absolutely. to make one. And I have read, you know, we have a lot of books, very ancient books about yoga. And when I started my practice, this is true that I practiced first meditation in the monastery of Tishnatan in south of France. I learned just how to sit and be silent. And it's, it's a long life work, long life practice. Afterward, I studied yoga. And in the beginning, I, re I read that even the advanced sage who have realized themselves. They have reached God, they have reached the unity. When all is done, when they reach Samadhi, what do they do? They come back to be in Bhakti, to be grateful, to share this gratefulness and thankfulness, just to motivate the others, because it's wonderful. And sometimes in Bhakti, 
you meet some people, they have never done any form of yoga. They are not flexible. They, they will never sit in any mat. But they have, what do they have? They have faith. And you can see the happiness in those people. Even if they have some drama in their life, they stand. They stand tall and confident within. And this is bhakti. And so if you have the chance in your yoga practice to not refuse bhakti, it's not always easy. Why? Because we have this, we are living in this world where religion is a strange word. Religion is war. Some people come to you and say, you have to trust the God we trust in. You have to do that. And it's a total mistake of the sense of religion. It, it is the total mistake in, of how we, we can make one. But if you forget about this mistake, just go back to the source of the word religion, which, which means linking together. Or you can just not using the word religion. You can just using the word yoga. But you know, some, someday the word yoga will be dangerous as well. Because ignorance will prevail and people will take the word yoga and they will do nonsense things. And you will see that in 100 years, yoga will mean something terrible. So, truth is beyond that. You don't even need words. You know what I mean? Faith, it's another word. But it means, I believe. Even if I don't really see results now, I believe. And go for that. Go within and make this relationship. Be patient. Not too passionate. Be patient. It won't bring results quickly, but it will give you more and more confidence. And this is Bhakti Yoga. It's not easy to define, but Bhakti Yoga is so simple. You just can chant Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya Mantra for peace and you connect and do what you want with your Bhakti. Do asanas, do meditation, do Kundalini, just be one.